you, you guys know I started out my, my uh, career in journalism right here on this YouTube channel, right? Uh, I've been very blessed, uh, thank God, alhamdulillah, I've been very blessed uh, to be successful. And then um, as I grew and got bigger, within the first year, within a few months, I got offered a, a television program on Press TV, right? So uh, I started in fall of 2020. And today, the U.S. government has seized Press TV's website. Uh, again, let, let, let me explains for you i'm not saying they've blocked press tv in america no no they've stolen the entire website i'm not in america i've never been to america i don't work in america press tv is not in america press tv is an iranian website it's an iranian um network right it's under the umbrella of of um Irib, right so the iranian uh so this is the iranian state broadcaster right the american government has stolen an iranian news website that is not in america they have stolen my work and the work of my colleagues. They, they've deleted it. You, I'm not joking. There are people who think that, oh, it's a hack. No, no, it's not a hack. This has been confirmed. I know personally from Press TV. I talked with them. It, it's uh, been confirmed in the mainstream media. We'll look at it now in a second. I'll show you the articles. So if you go, look, I want to show you right now. If you go and type PressTV.com, it's gone. And there's a notice. They've left a note like a bunch of fucking pirates. This is what it says. This website has been seized like pirates. Like goddamn pirates, just like they seize Venezuela's gold, just like they seize Iran's oil, just like they seize Syria's oil. They have seized this website. They say the domain PressTV.com has been seized by the United States government in accordance with a seizure warrant issued pursuant to... So this is a United States code. This is a, these are the laws, right, in question. I'm going to show them to you in a second. So as part of a law enforcement action by the Bureau of Industry and Security Office... Uh, um, Office of Export Enforcement and Federal Bureau of Investigation. So the, the FBI even, right? Like, th this is hilarious, honestly. They, the, these people, they have no shame. They're, they're so criminal. They're so gangster. They're so disgustingly violent, right, with their imperialism. They have no shame. And then they dare, they fucking dare talk about, oh, journalists are oppressed in Iran and journalists are oppressed in China. Who's prosecuting Assange? Who just, de who just deleted my fucking show, you assholes? The United fucking States did that. And you have, the, you have the nerve to talk about democracy? You don't know the first goddamn thing about democracy, and that's all my show is about, and that's why they deleted it. That's why they deleted the work of my colleagues. They deleted Press TV's website. They stole it like pirates because we criticized the United States for being imperialist scum like this, precisely for this. Thank you for proving our point. So look at this. You want to look at the laws? Let's look at the laws, right, that they've cited here. So they're saying... United States uh, uh, Code, they're, they're mentioning paragraphs 981, 982, okay? So this, this is the Civil Forfeiture Code, and then we also have the Criminal Forfeiture. And if you look through the law, there's a lot of things about, you know, um, traffic, <laughs> there are things about like traffic violations, wh whatever. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point you to what I think is, what we all know is the reason, right? That they're going to cite, even though it's completely nonsense and not true. If you look at, if you look at Section G, it says that they can seize all assets, foreign or domestic, of any individual entity or organization engaged in planning or perpetrating any federal crime of terrorism, right? You, you just know that they're going to say that. You just know this. You know that they're going to do this. Now, look at the other code. Do you see what they mentioned here? Seven, so, United States Code uh, 1701 to 1705. Do you know what that is? You're not going to believe this. Uh, unusual and extraordinary threat. Declaration of National Emergency, Exercise of Presidential Authorities. So, <laughs> they're, they're saying that Press TV, which includes my television program, poses an unusual or extraordinary threat. Motherfucker, if that ain't a badge of honor. If that ain't a badge of honor, I'm going to wear it right here. Right here. Really, th thank you for proving my point about everything I say about the United States. Thank you for proving my point about imperialism. Thank you for showing your true colors. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's not just Press TV, by the way. Do you know how many websites they've shut down? Do you know how many websites they've shut down? So, Claudio was, cl was kind enough to put together a collage. I had an idea of putting together a collage so that maybe visually this would speak to people. Look at this. So they've seized PressTV.com. Uh, they, they've seized El, uh, El Masira, which I think is, is, if I'm not mistaken, is um, 
so hold on a second. Let me explain this. Press TV is only English, okay? Al Alam, they do in Arabic, Al uh, Furat as well. And many of these are Iranian, okay? Pal today, this is Palestinian over here. And uh, Al Masira, if I'm not mistaken, is, is uh, it's run by the Houthis. So, you know, in, um, uh, in Yemen, you have the Houthi rebels, the Houthi government that is fighting against the Saudi led genocide. So, I mean, just the gist of it, right? You look at these websites that they've taken down here, right? So, Press TV, Al Furat, Al Alam, Al Masira, Palestine Today, Karbala TV.net, um, Al Kotha, Al Walla TV. What, what do these websites, what do these news outlets have in common? Just explain this to me, man. Right? What, what do these websites have in common? They're part of the axis of resistance. That's what they have in common. These websites, these news outlets are anti-imperialist. They are pro-Palestinian. So when they do news, they don't sugarcoat the conflict, uh, as they say, the conflict in Palestine, and say that it's clashes. No, no, no. They, on Press TV, you can say the truth about what's happening in Palestine. It's an occupation. The Zionists, the Israelis, these European and otherwise uh, colonial settlers are occupying Palestine. They are oppressing Palestinians. It's not a clash. It's not a conflict. It's an, it's an occupation. You can say that on these networks. You can say the truth, right? You can talk about the effect of U.S. sanctions. You can explain that U.S. sanctions are barbaric because that's the truth. It's siege warfare. You can talk about the criminality, the gangster criminal, uh, you know, the organized crime that these cartels like the United Kingdom, the United States, and their, you know, the G7 undertake. You can do that here. That's what they have in common. These are outlets that are uh, created by, they, they are run by the axis of resistance. You remember George Bush, he gave the speech uh, calling Iran and, and Syria and, you know, anyone who, who doesn't bend the knee to the United States, of course, the axis of evil. That's what he called them, right? The axis of evil. And then this term was taken and, uh, and it was, you know, turned into a positive. It was, it was called the axis of resistance. So now when we talk about the axis of resistance, you know, we're talking about Iran. We're talking about, uh, um, we're talking about Syria. We're talking about the Houthi rebels, the Houthi government in Yemen that is fighting the Saudi genocide. We're talking about the Hashd al-Shabi. We're talking about the popular mobilization forces in Iraq and uh, who've he who helped liberate uh, Iraq and Syria from the scum of Al-Qaeda and ISIS. We're talking about... Uh, you know, we're talking about countries that stand up to U.S. imperialism, Venezuela, Cuba, Yemen, they, you know, no, it, it, these countries, they don't bend the knee to the Americans, to the British, to Western hegemony. So that's why they're targeted, right? That's, that's the real reason they took our, our, our stuff down, because they're scum. That's why they did this. And there's a, something else, by the way, if you look here, this is signed by Joe Biden on, on June 9th. Right, because <laughs> Joe Biden is not fascism, right? Remember that? <laughs> Do you remember how many how many times they told you this bullshit? Oh my God, you have to vote for Trump, or else you know uh, you have to vote for Biden, or else Trump is going to win, and then fascism is going to win, right? They said democracy is on the ballot. Yes, I, I feel I'm feeling the democracy right now. Thank you for deleting my 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 uh, TV show. I'm very grateful. I'm really feeling the freedom of press right now. Fuck you, asshole. Fuck you and your fucking Joe Biden. So he signed this on June 9th, executive order on protecting American sensitive data from foreign adversaries. So he's expanding on something that Trump started with Huawei, you know, with TikTok, trying to uh, say, oh, the Chinese are stealing data, you know, they're putting spyware as if the Americans don't spy on half the planet, including their allies on the whole planet, excuse me. So that's what this is about, right? This is, a, this is another brick in the wall of Joe Biden uh, uh, being Joe Biden, right? They, they sold you this myth that, uh, oh, you know, it's, it's just fascist if Trump does it, right? But when Joe Biden, when a Democrat does it, that's totally fine. Like, you know, it, 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 it makes no difference that he's continuing to persecute Julian Assange. No, no, that's not fascism. You know, like trying to jail a, a journalist for 170 years who is not even in the United fucking States, who is not even from the United States, right? Going and deleting News networks that are not in the United States. You know when they talk about, they, they have the, the audacity to call Syria and Iran and any country that they don't like, they call them totalitarian. Dude, e even in a totalitar totalitarian system, the, the suppression that they claim takes place happens inside the borders of that country. The United States doesn't even contain that inside its own country. It's going and making sure that I cannot even 
access my own show and I don't even work in the United States and I don't even live in the United States. You, if you live outside the United States, you cannot access the show. So the United States is, dis is, is spreading its policies to the globe. It's deciding for the rest of the planet what news they can access. I mean, that, this is beyond totalitarian. This, this, is, this is imperialism. This is scum. This is colonial scum, what they're doing. This is scum. This is scum behavior, okay? Can you imagine the outrage if Iran deleted MSNBC's website? Like, just, just think about that for a second. The fucking outrage. Can you imagine if deleted CNN's website? Can you imagine if PBS was taken offline? Can, ima just imagine for one second the fucking outrage. And this is, this is not the first time they attack us, man. You know, in, in fall of 2020, so I think just shortly after I, I got my show, uh, the communique, Google, Google services, they went and they, and they banned, um, they completely banned Press TV from using its services, right? So, like even <laughs> Google Documents, everything. So, so not just YouTube and, and everything, all Google services banned. Why? Because... They, they, they used sanctions as a, as a reason, right? I saw it. Um, and then before, in the past, they've done this in the past, right? Look, look here. Uh, they, Facebook banned Iran's, uh, fa their, their Facebook page, right? They banned it a few months ago. This is back in January. And it's not the first time. And they've done this many times to other, other people, right? So they've done this to... Um, uh, Telesur, which is a, a, a Spanish uh, a language uh, outlet, you know, it's uh, based in Venezuela, if I'm not mistaken. They've done this also to CGTN. So, you know, there's been, a, there's been an effort here, a concerted effort to go after outlets that are not um, based in the West, but which are still, you know, they have big reach, uh, which are also based in English. Uh, so, you know, um, you have... Uh, Press TV, CGTN, uh, Telesur, they've all been targeted before. That's my point here, right? Th this, is, this is something they've done before. But this is on another level now. Th this is really crossing the fucking line. And to me, if you ask me, frankly, even before banning the Facebook page, like, this is harassment. Every couple of months, they would take down the Facebook page for a few days, and then, oh, yeah, we made a mistake. <laughs> you know, we, we act Dude, there's nothing we could do. The FBI agent just crawled into the office by accident. We're really sorry. <laughs> You know, they would ban the Facebook page or the Google stuff. So now it's they've t removed the website. It is gone. I'm not joking, man. I, I, do you people think I'm joking? Look, look at this. Seriously. Look, I'm going to go on Google right now. Okay, I'm going to type press TV. Okay. I'm going to click on here. What the fuck is that? Who are you people? Who are you pirates to do this? Who, who are you? Who gave you the right to do this? I mean, the hypocrisy is unbelievable, right? They, they want to... Uh, come here and talk about freedom, freedom of the press, democracy, fair elections, human rights abuses. Pfft, it doesn't mean shit. The United States is the biggest human rights abuser on the planet. They have no democracy. They have no fucking freedom of speech. They have the biggest state media apparatus that a fucking dictator could, in, in his wildest dreams, could think up. They come here and they, they remove outlets that are outside the United States, that are not based in the United States whose journalists do not work in the United States. And, they, and then they have the gall to turn around and talk about democracy and freedom of speech and freedom of press. Look what they're doing to Julian Assange, man. Like, the, the, you have to understand, they're trying to extraterritorialize their shit. They're trying to extraterritorialize their nonsense, their absurd laws. I mean, I don't, know, I don't even know what to say, man. It, it, it's, it's not, you know, calling it hypocrisy, I feel like that's kind of an understatement. It's just too much at this point. I feel like it's too much. Uh, it, it, it's, too, it's too, you know, it's too much. The word hypocrisy is not enough. It doesn't encapsulate the rage that I feel right now. It really doesn't. So, you know, if, if you go now and you look at, um, it, this has been reported now in a couple of websites. So RT has reported on uh, the seizure, even Times of Israel. I bet they're very happy now about this as well. Oh, sorry, this is, this is about the Facebook page. They, they've reported now also again on the, uh, on the website being removed. That's also, that's also on here somewhere. So there we go, see? Uh, pro Hamas news website. <laughs> this is really funny, man. So also over here. Um, oh, by the way, I was watching a video uh, earlier on the IDF Twitter account. So you know the the Israelis, uh, their occupation forces in uh, in Palestine, they have their own Twitter account, and it's just pure propaganda. And they're translating a speech from Hamas from from Hamas uh, as leader. And you know he said the word. He, he said resistance factions. And you look at the subtitles. 
and they translated it to militant factions. And I know this because I speak Arabic, so I can hear what he's saying and read what, what, what the subtitles say, and it's not the same word. Like, there, there, <laughs> there is a big difference between the word resistance and militant. So they're, 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 you know, they just lie all the time. They just twist things to fit their, their narrative. Um, and here, if you look on Sputnik, they've, they've also... I mean, it's everywhere, right? They're, they've all covered this now. So it, I, know, I know that it's real. And uh, if you go and you look at Reuters, um, they said that uh, they've been taken down. And they said that there's going to be a statement soon. So, you know, they said over here, a U.S. Justice Department spokesperson had no immediate comment. Two U.S. government sources indicated that the Justice Department was preparing an announcement on this issue. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to hear their announcement, man. I, I'm really excited for this, you know. I'm, I'm really excited for their bullshit. Like, like as if, as if that, that justifies what they just did. Oh, God. You know, their logic behind this, and I think this dates back to Obama, uh, to 2012, around 2012. You know, they, they decided that all .com websites are going to be under U.S. jurisdiction, right? So th their logic is that, well, you know, it doesn't matter that the website is not American or it's not in America. It, it, the URL is .com, therefore it's American and we can take it down. <laughs> they just hacked it and pirated it. This is not possible. They're, they're so... Oh, my God. So, someone... You know, I posted about this on, on Twitter, right, what they, what they just did. And someone uh, uh, commented <laughs> this gif of Biden saying, you're seeing the soul of America now. Yes, I am. I, I definitely am. I concur. I concur, man. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's multiple outlets. And, you know, I, I just I thought of this quote by Malcolm X about the media. It's so good, man. Really. This is the me quote, this is the media, an irresponsible media. It will make the criminal look like he's the victim and make the victim look like he's the criminal. If you aren't careful, the media will have you hating the people who are being oppressed and loving the people who are doing the oppressing. And that's what's going to happen. You're going you're gonna to see maybe CNN or MSNBC cover this, and then they're going to convince you that it's okay to shit on uh, foreign press. They're going to convince you that, oh yeah, because it's Iran, right? Like everyone over there is evil, right? Like, <laughs> of course we can shit on them. Like, that's what they're going to do. You, you already know this is coming. And, and they always frame it as if like, you know, uh, it, it's, uh, um, it's acceptable to do it to, um, you know, Global South uh, outlets. It's acceptable to do it abroad. Um, and, you know, that's just security. It's a security issue. Right? Julian Assange, he's so dangerous, they have to put him in a maximum security prison. Press TV is, again, look what the law says over here. I love this. I really love this. Unusual and extraordinary threat. They, they use the national emergency law. <laughs> Dude, they, they deleted my show using the national emergency law. I mean, if that, if that isn't hilarious, I don't know what is. Look what pussies they are. Look what cowards they have to use. Like, th this is meant for, like, fucking war or something, you know? And they, <laughs> they're they so terrified of, of me sitting in my room or my colleagues doing their shows and talking about the crimes that the U.S. is committing. Shit, we gotta go shut them down. <laughs> what cowards? They're such fucking pussies. This is so hilarious. It really is. They're, they're really pu huge, huge pussies. So here, it's also been reported in CNN, right? They say down here that the United States government has seized dozens of U.S. website domains connected to Iran, linked to what the U.S. says are disinformation efforts, a U.S. national security official told CNN. Oh, yeah, I love these, uh, these anonymous security, uh, national security officials, right? These uh, anonymous intelligence officials who, who just, you know, they make shit up on the fly, right? So a anyone who, who tells the truth about uh, the United States crimes or their allies' crimes, this is disinformation, apparently. Of course. Of course it's disinformation because it goes against what they want you to believe. So in their eyes, it's disinformation. It can't be true, right? Oh, man, they're so pathetic. Over here, one, one of you commented on Twitter, in my, opinion, the press, in my opinion, Press TV is the main target here, and a couple of shows on Press TV have been a little too uncomfortable for the U.S. regime. The communique is definitely one of them. So right now, the way it is, there... Uh, there's a backup mirror 
of, of the website. So instead of PressTV.com, you go to PressTV.ir, okay? So PressTV.ir. And thank God my, my work is still up there. Um, although I was looking in the comments and people are saying they, they can't access it. Uh, it's timing out. Maybe it's because there's lots of traffic. Maybe they're jamming it. I don't know. You, you have to understand something, man. This is not like... <laughs> I feel like it's... It, even for me, I'm not I'm not digesting it fully because it's so it's so absurd. I haven't fully digested it yet. I, it hasn't really hit me that they, they fucking did this. Like it's a joke or something, right? It has to be a joke. No, this is real. They 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 just did this. So thankfully, PressTV.ir works, right? This is this is the episode, the broadcast I did a few hours ago on the Iranian elections. It just dropped. I had Professor Merendi on, great friend. He he's really awesome, really um, uh, well spoken. Uh, he's been on all the networks and he took the time to, to, to come on and do a, a really good interview. It'll be on here as well, the full extended version. So, you know, uh, it, and just as a side note, it's so, uh, it's so nauseating watching like, you know, American or European commentators, you know, talk about the Iranian elections. They don't know their fucking ass from their elbow. Be quiet. Like, just stop trying to pretend you understand foreign policy. It's really just stay in your lane, man. I, I, sorry, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to be mean or something, but they say things that are so factually incorrect, that are so bad, and they 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 you're just poisoning people with another uh, uh you know another version of mainstream media bullshit, right? Like, oh my God! Look, look at what 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 what, what uh, happened in Iran. Uh, it's such it's such a disaster, and it's all Trump's fault. No, no. Why don't you just why don't you just respect that people in Iran maybe have a different viewpoint than you? Maybe people in Iran want a different system than you. Why are you trying to impose your Western liberal fucking horseshit on everyone outside your borders? Mind your business. Deal with your own crap, right? And they do this with everyone, right? They, it's like this white colonial mentality that they have to go and like educate everyone who isn't white or in the West. Like, oh, they have such a bad system, right? It's so bad. We, our model is better. It's so fucking arrogant. And you even see people on the so-called left, in American left, do this all the time. It, it, it's, it's so commonplace. They don't even realize it. So anyway, that's just a side note. Um, but, you know, thank God it, the, the material is still up there on PressTV.ir. But this is scandalous. I, I, don't, I don't accept this. That, um, you know, it doesn't make it any less okay, right? Just because just there's a mirror, just because there's a backup, that doesn't mean it's okay. You know... The, the U.S. government, you know what they were doing with WikiLeaks. They were doing the same thing to WikiLeaks. They, they would uh, uh, jam the, the live streams. You know, they would uh, interfere with the um, connection. They uh, got uh, PayPal and, and all these credit card companies to, to freeze their accounts. Um, they also sh uh, took down their website multiple times uh, to the point that WikiLeaks was asking people to mirror the website and make copies of it. So, you know, like a Hydra, like you, you cut one head off and you got another one comes out, like so, so that it can't ever be really taken down. And that's actually part of how the, the cables got disseminated, but that's another story. So j just my point here is that this is a common practice that the United States uses against people who are, you know, <laughs> it considers a threat, um, a, a, a journalistic threat. So whether it's WikiLeaks or it's Press TV or CGTN, it doesn't matter. It's the same MO. And I just, I got to laugh because, you know, <laughs> basically, you know, we're, we're banned now in both the United Kingdom and, and the United States, right? How, how, who could have seen that coming, right? The United Kingdom banned Press TV uh, a while ago, so they took it off the air because, you know, Press TV is on satellite. So they, they completely took it off the air. Ofcom is the, the regulator in the UK. They completely banned it. And now the U.S. <laughs> goes and just steals the fucking website like pirates, like disgusting pirates, because that's what they are. And so are the, so are the British. And, you know, it, it, it's, it's funny. I, I think that if they are doing this, that means we're doing something right. So I, I am extremely pissed off. I'm fuming. I think they're, ex they're, they're extremely hypocritical. I never, I never, ever, ever want to hear a single fucking American or Westerner come to me and lecture me or Syrians or Iranians about freedom of press or journalism or fucking democracy. You don't even have that. We don't even have that in the West. Shut your fucking mouth, you hypocritical sack of shit, and deal with your own problems. Stop wagging your fucking finger at everyone else when we don't even have this in, in the UK. We don't even have this in the United States. You have no right to talk about other countries. Especially when you do this. Especially when you do this. The, uh, this is outrageous. This is fucking outrageous. Imagine if Iran took down a PBS website or CNN or Reuters. Just imagine the fucking outrage. But it's okay to do that to, you know, to Iran. It's okay to do that to Syria. Like, like you know, they're not equal, right? They're like lesser people. We can just shit on them all the time. 
Fuck you. Fuck your colonial bullshit. So, I, I'm, I'm, I find this extremely uh, uh, angering. But it, it, it's also, it's, it's also, you know, it's validation. Let, let's, let's be clear. This is validation. This is, this is proving. This is proving that we are having an effect. This, this proves that our work is important. This proves that we mean something and the work we do means something. If you think they don't take this seriously, you are sorely mistaken. You are sorely mistaken. And when, I'm talking about the British, I'm talking about the Americans, I'm talking about the Israelis. They take this extremely seriously, right? You had that video of that Zionist uh, professor at Harvard saying like, oh yeah, in Israel, we have to serve in the army. You need to serve in the army of words. You need to go fight the ideological battle. Yeah, they really care about this. So, you know, that's where we confront them. We'll confront them on the, uh, you know, on the battlefield of, of journalism, of ideas, of words. That's my domain. And so when they do this, when they come and they, they delete... Press TV's website, they seize it like pirates so that people all over the world, not just in America, all over the planet cannot access this information, this news, this truth. That means they're fucking scared. They are so terrified. They are so terrified of people understanding what the U.S. does. So this is validation. I'm very pleased. I wear it like a badge of honor. Thank you. Thank you very much. You, you just proved our points and you showed also that what we're doing is effective. Thank you. And th you, again, this is not just an attack on, on uh, journalists, on, on the foreign press. This is an attack on the axis of resistance. W who did they go after? What do these websites have in common that I just showed you here? This collage that, that we put together. What do these websites have in common? What do these news outlets, these broadcasters have in common? They are all Arabic and Muslim. They are all part of the axis of resistance. They all confront U.S. imperialism. They all confront Zionism. That is what they have in common. And they also confront Saudi Arabia. That is what they have in common. They are a threat. They are a threat on the journalistic, in the journalistic sense, right? They are a threat in the ideological sense. To Western hegemony. That's why they took them down. This was an attack. So don't ever come here and talk to me about freedom of press. Don't ever, don't ever do that. Don't, don't embarrass yourself. I will school you. Don't, don't embarrass yourself. I'm not tolerating this bullshit. All right, I'm not tolerating this. These scumbags, they have the fucking nerve to talk about interference. They have the goddamn nerve to talk about <laughs> free press and, and totalitarianism and authoritarianism. Go and, and you, you really need to, to just shut the fuck up and, and sit back and look at, around you first. You really need to digest what your own countries are doing. I'm, I'm angry, but I laugh because it it's exposes them. It exposes them as weak and fragile. They're so weak and fragile. They're so pathetic. Th th this is the empire. <laughs> look at them, man. Like, just fucking... Look at their Gestapo bullshit, honestly. Look at this Gestapo bullshit. They come here and just slap a fucking label on. We've seized your domain. You motherfucking tyrants. You have the nerve to call other countries uh, backwards. You have the nerve. <laughs> uh, what did I tell you? I fucking told you that Biden would be just as bad, if not worse. I told you this. And, and, and you had all these like smart asses who don't listen, who think they know better, right? Who are so brainwashed. They think that, oh no, we're gonna have like change or something. <laughs> oh, you losers, you fucking embarrassing clowns. You don't know your ass from your elbow. You don't know your ass from your elbow. So anyway, anyway, man. I, I again, I wear, I take this as a badge of honor. I think it's, it's, uh, it's just proof that we're doing a, a good job. Uh, you know, if the U.S. government and the British governments take you off the air, <laughs> you're doing something right. <laughs> End of story. You're doing something right. Okay, you're doing something right. So that's that's all I'm gonna say. I'll leave it there.